My name's Robert Benning. And you used to drive with the Royal Corps Transport, was it? Royal Fusiliers. Royal Fusiliers. So, and you've driven, you say you've driven, driven this bad boy. Yeah, so, one of them, yeah. And what do you think about it? Did you enjoy driving that? Or was it really difficult? A difficult, very difficult to drive that. Uh, because it's hard steering, it's also hard to stop, and it used to wallow a lot. Yeah, they're known as the pig, I believe. I don't know what the correct name is. Is it Humber One Ton yeah, Truck or something? Humber, yeah. But yeah, uh, I mean that particular one was was up armoured for Northern Ireland. No, but well, yeah, because it's got the bars on the front. Yeah. yeah. I believe someone once told me they're called paddy catchers. <laughs> and then from yeah. there we went on to the four three twos then. Ah, let's have a look at the 432. 3-2, then we get on to the 4 3 two. Yeah. So where did you drive the 432? We were just in Germany. Salt yeah, Saltel and Lunaburg Heath and other places we went to. A lot of people had difficulty driving them because they've got the tillers on there and People were putting one arm one side, one arm the other side. I drove that, I think, once mm. a while ago. And I always turned it. I, I went along a bank and I, I went on the angle, and it was like, oh no, get off, Calvin, you've got to go down, you've got to tip it. So yeah. they're pretty stable. Yeah, we had one tip over. I think the gears one, two, three, four, three, five, three, six, yeah. What you have to change from? Oh, they're automatic, you know, semi automatic. So you just pull the lever down. You've got the lever on the side of you on the left hand side. On yeah. The bank. As was on the bank, if I can remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, three, five, three, six. Yeah, I can remember. Yeah, I mean, the Centurion's got like a gear stick like an ordinary car, aren't it? Yeah, but they're very hard to change, aren't they? I drove one oh, of them they're before. heavy. Yeah, they're they? very heavy. Yeah. You're driving it with, with people in it or with the yeah. supplies and things? No, people in them. They had eight people in there at the time. Because imagine you get bashed up and that in there. Because did they have seat belts back then? I suppose they did. No, no nothing like that at all. You just had to hold on and not bang your head. If you, I don't know if you try that. You try lifting that door. I thought it because it would be heavy. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a ton, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just incredibly heavy. But these are, these are another one. These, these are really, really bad ones. Oh, the Saracen, yeah. These are another bad one. They were, um, they were hard to drive. Yeah, because you have to select the gear before you, know, and then and then you have to tell it to change. So you've got to know what you're going to do, and then you, you go, for, go backwards or forwards, and forwards yeah. or backwards. Yeah, <laughs> Chinese gearbox. Yeah, because they had them built the other way round for the um, the Saladin. I think it was the other way round. Yeah, Saladin was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, the top speed and they used to whine. Well, it'd be a headache. So when, when did you serve from until? I was 60 to 66. Yeah, so before I was born. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm 70, yeah. coming up to 73 now, so. Yeah. God, years have gone fast. I'm sure. Gone very fast. We're not seeing yeah. these sounds very easy at all. I, mean, I was briefly in a uh, territorial army unit for about six months called One, one Through One Independent Commando Squadron yeah. in North London. But all I basically did was get cold and wet and climb ropes and, <laughs> and lay in water. <laughs> that was about it. Oh, yeah, um, right. But I, I was going to have to go and do the commando course in Limpston. But I, I gave up at that point because I was having a problem with university and I, I couldn't really justify doing both at the same time. So that was my limited career. And I got, I got a pay slip with zero on it. <laughs> and that was all I ever got. And, and I, w I did have a load of kit. I thought, I'll keep the kit. But of course, they sent a couple of the blokes around. We need the kit. And I thought, oh, yeah, I have the kit, you know. So I ended up basically doing six months PT for nothing, which was fine. But I was very fit then. <laughs> Not now. I don't know. You yeah, you've only got a little tiny brake pedal. It's so they do have seat belts, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we never had seat belts. It's very kind of utilitarian, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it just... Uh, well, so you were, you were telling me about the accident? Yeah, when it went off the road, it rolled down a big bank. There was, yeah. a, a, ra there was a radio, there were radio operators, and uh, when it rolled down the bank, it, it, it impaled them on the... Oof. It decapitated them both. Oh, good God. And uh, it went, went, went past this woman's house, and when she came out of the young door and looked at them, took them out to get the doors open, Bob Healy's head rolled out on the floor. People forget that, you know, even in peacetime, the fact people having to train, yeah. you know, there's still casualties. And yet we had a sergeant come back and he, he drove it all the way back to the where he was staying at uh, camp and got us to hose it out.
If conditions were too bad, I think. Yeah. And, and this corner, it just didn't go, I think. So was it the driver die as well? Oh, yeah, the pair, pair of them. So the driver and the guy yeah. in the other seat? Yeah. Uh, they got decapitated amongst all the radio bits inside. Just four it's tires. Trying to, trying to stop them, it's heavy, because it's so heavy. Yeah. You know, and the steering, Gosh. power steering, yeah. Just don't want to so know. you got any power assistance in the brakes or just... just... No. You just have to hope for the best.